Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Precious, your new mom slash relationship coach. I help you by supporting and holding you accountable for your goals. Before we jump right in, I need you guys to click down below, hit the subscribe button so when I upload each and every Thursdays and sometimes Sundays, you'll be the first to know. All right, guys, so let's jump right in. I know, I know, I know I haven't been posting, but I've been going through an array of things, trying to level everything out. So I have been neglecting you, and I am truly sorry. If you see me looking and leaning over funny, my baby is on my back, which is now messing up my lighting. He is asleep. So... Um, yeah, so my lighting is going to be a little off going in and out if I'm moving around. So pay too much attention to that. Anyways, let's jump right in, guys. Tip number one, if you can, go with her to her doctor's appointments. If there is some time that you have off or time that you make it off a little early, please tell her so that she can schedule her doctor's appointments around the day. The appointment that I had, I made sure I made it on the day that my love was going to be off work. Like, I needed him there with me. It's so lonely going to doctor's appointments by yourself and sitting there and you see other people with their with their partner and you're just by yourself. It's kind of like a stereotype. They look at you like, mm, another woman in here without a without a father of the baby and if that's the case you know disclaimer i am not judging no one that um baby father or uh, partner is not involved but i'm just i know it can be very very lonely so guys if you can please go to your partner's doctor's appointments all right tip, tip number two help her make hard decisions for prenatal testing um, such as birth defects. So there comes a time where your partner is going to have to go to the doctor to get an ultrasound um, for a long time. And it's good that you should go with her just so that they can make sure that may, your, to, to make sure that your child will not have any type of birth defects. I think that it's very important to help her make those decisions because if there is a situation where your child might have a birth defect, defect, I think, you know, you guys should make that decision together on whatever it might be. Number Tip three, listen to her concerns and be her emotional support. Sometimes you might think, oh, she's complaining or she's just not um she's just being a little extra if these are her concerns listen to them and be supportive guys be supportive to her and her concerns tip number four if she wants to go to birth classes i think it's a good idea for you to go with her be another support i'm going to use important throughout this video because it is truly important to be supportive to your partner during her pregnancy so with that being said if she would want to go to birth classes i think childbirth classes i think that you should go with her i think you should be supportive and go with her and help her because there might be some moves that she just can't do herself during the class and also you will learn a lot too you will learn so much in those classes you'll learn how to be that coach you need to be in the um, labor room. So that is very important. Number five is to make sure that you encourage her and reassure her, okay? That is very important. Again, that word important because sometimes women, we go through a stage where we're feeling not so pretty. I'm sorry, son, excuse me, guys. Or, you know, we don't feel like we're going to be a good mom. Or we feel like we just can't do this. Um, there's going to be times where she's sick and she just feels like she wants to be done with this completely. I need mean, that is your time to step in, coach, and, and encourage her and reassure her that everything is going to be okay and that you are there for her no matter what. Okay, 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 okay. Number six. This is kind of funny to me because I have a funny story uh, revolving around this tip. Um, but 
Tip number six, my baby is in the back moving a lot. Tip number six is to buy her a body pillow. Now, make sure you ask her which one she wants because I got the C one, the C-shaped one, and I hated it. But I thought I wanted it. I thought I needed it. And he got it for me, and I hated it. I wish I would have got the U one. Are you okay, Stinky? Sorry. But make sure you get her a body pillow. Um, the U one it seems like it's more comfortable. I didn't think I was going to like that one, but I end up getting that one. Um, I end up getting the U one, no, the C one, and I hated it. Also, when you buy her this pillow, just understand that you'll be sleeping on the couch because now the pillow is going to take up your side of the bed. And so <laughs> that happened to my love. Once I got that pillow, he was on the couch because it's either me or the, it's either him or the pillow. And at that point, I'm picking the pillow. <laughs> Can I do my video, please? Tip number seven is to ask her is there anything she needs it's very important there's the word again to constantly ask her you know throughout the day um is everything okay is there anything that she needs from you is there anything that you can help her with because sometimes we sit there we need stuff we want to do stuff but we don't want to bother you so it would be nice for you to just ask is there anything you can do for her all right number eight i'm probably gonna go into a little more detail with because i think a lot of people struggle with this and if you don't you're lucky all right guys so listen up come here come here come here come here i need you to be understanding if she does not want to have sex i need you to be understanding about that okay because for the simple fact, it is very uncomfortable, one. Two, she could feel really insecure about her body because she's getting bigger. Three, she does not want you to be poking on her baby. <laughs> and four, it just doesn't feel right. Now, if you have a partner who likes to get it on, all the time while pregnancy you are winning and lucky because a lot of times women do not want to be touched like that during her pregnancy so I need you guys to really 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 understand okay try to see if there's something else she can do for you she got a hand all right she got a mouth I'm just saying, see if there's something she might be willing to do other than having intercourse. Do you understand what I'm saying? And if she does not want to do those things, don't take your, don't take your A outside, nowhere to do anything. You got a hand, use it. Okay, I'm sorry. Back to what I was talking about. So try to understand if she does not want to have sex. And if she do, you're winning. Enjoy it. Nine. Be her physical support. Hey, son. Be her physical support. Help her clean. Help her cook. Because a lot of times, women being on their feet is really hard. It's really hard to try to cook a dinner or to clean constantly as, as she get bigger. Please don't touch that, son. Thank you. And with that being said, if you could help her, by doing those things, you'll be rewarded later on down the line. And I say that because I know as I got bigger, it got harder. Now, she will go through a nesting stage where she starts to act like a psycho woman, okay? I mean, she want to clean from top to bottom, every corner in the house. She wants to want you to paint the room. She wants you to get the baby bed together. She wants you to get the clean the car out. She wants you to clean the garage. She wants you to clean the toilet seats. It's going to be some random things that she wants you to do, right? But it's all in her nesting state. She's now preparing for her baby and it's the instinct that a mother gets. And so she's going to be crazy. But until the crazy part kick in, help her clean up. 
you know, cook something. Um, and encourage her to drink a lot of water. Maybe you guys could um, try to do a game like, baby, I bet you you can't drink this cup of water faster than me, but please don't have her drink it too fast. She might throw up <laughs> or if she even throws up. But try to play little games with her to encourage her to drink more water because the more water she gets, the less pain that she might go through while she's pregnant because sometimes we don't drink enough water. We start to feel all these type cramps and pains and things like that. Okay, so tip number 10 is to give her a back massage and a foot massage as often as you can. And I say that because she's carrying a baby in the front of her. And so you'll often see her holding her back like this because she's that baby is pulling her forward. So she's trying to arch her back backwards because she's in pain. Or yeah, it just it's just heavy. Also, try giving her foot massages because it is a lot of weight on our heels and in the balls of our feet. Our feet swell up, so it'll just be really helpful for you to help her with that situation. Rub her legs, rub her back, hell, rub her hands, because some women, as myself, our wrists start to hurt really bad. Our fingers started to hurt really bad. It's kind of like you can get carpal tunnel when you're pregnant. And so women go through a lot of different things. So that's where the encouragement and the reinsurance comes in. And that was tip number five, guys. I had to just go back to that. So I'm only telling you this because it will be really rewarding to you in the end after the pregnancy is over. And plus you'll feel like that you were a part of the pregnancy and you know exactly what your partner went through. Also, a woman never forgets how she was treated when she was pregnant. That goes for friends too, but that's another video, guys. That's another video. So guys, that is my 10 tips to help you be more supportive with your partner while she's pregnant. So with that being said, ladies, if there's anything that you feel like I left out, I want you guys to comment down below. Okay, and let's talk about this. Share some more things that you think that will help guys help you during your pregnancy. All right, guys, till next time, I love you and have a great day. Bye, my son yeah. is on top of my laptop. Get, give me a minute. Get, get, get. Say hello. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs>